Right now. So on that note, because I see Amy struggling up there, I'd love to go to you for a question. I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer. <laughs> you like all right. I'm almost there. So Amy, this question was directed for you. I noticed more men tend to be into the higher end training. Do you find it tough as a woman in this industry? <laughs> or find it any what? <laughs> What's higher end training? Do you feel like, <laughs> but if you're saying, do you find it tougher in general? Do you run into any challenges? Oh my or do you god. I think they're just wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> um I definitely think that <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> that um I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm struggling here. Did I, just get better? I did, it's not making it better. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep talking. I like Michael's really? method of distracting me. Yeah. Um I think that yeah, the dog training world is a little bit of a man's world. Uh, not a man's world, like all of everything. It's, you know. Um, Dave Brown said it best. There's a lot of women that are really, really talented trainers that I <coughs> get looked over. Mia Skogster is a, if anyone knows who that is, she's a really Amazing. phenomenal Schutzen trainer. And she, we were talking about a post on my Facebook wall, and she said, you know, I've had to prove myself 10 times over from any guy. And it's true. Elizabeth Warren. Yeah, I think that uh, I have a really good ability to, to disarm men, uh, especially when I used to do going. Yeah, <laughs> um, I used to go in and do in-home consults where I'd go to people, and a lot of times it was the wife that called me, uh, and the woman was, or the husband wasn't too happy that this, especially when I was like 24 years old. That there's this 24-year-old chick coming into his house to tell him what to do with his dog. Um, but having knowledge and being able to, um, I, I can't even think right now. <laughs> it's not hard. It's like, you, if you have hot socks, right? Like you get like lightheaded. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Kelly, you want to tag in and help her on that one. Yeah, email. Maybe you can um, give her a break to well, drink some more milk. Women in dog training? Yes. I don't find know, it more challenging? I don't remember what the question it was. <laughs> so, something about women and men. Do you find it more challenging as a woman to be a dog trainer? Um, it's definitely harder to get people, well, men, to listen to you. Um, which is maybe another reason to get the big badass dog and do really well and be like, oh, you, don't, you think you know better? Try this. Handle my dog. I actually couldn't handle my dog. I've, so actually, done, I've actually brought some of my dogs out before. Uh, all right, you wanna you wanna play with the dog? Play with, <laughs> play with Hudson. <laughs> you'll, you'll enjoy that. Uh, <laughs> even demonstrate with Hudson. This yeah. dog will, will change their tune usually. Um, it, you know, it, it can be a little harder. The problem, it's a problem. I think it's a problem with our culture. I like I see thousands of dog trainers, and I'm helping. I see five <laughs> good female dog trainers for every one good male dog trainer. I, 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 if I had to fit, like, it, as on a talent level, that's there are there more better. There are more good women dog trainers. More better. More better. More better. More better. More better women dog trainers than there are men. In my in my opinion. They just don't, they're not as loud about it, typically. They're not as comfortable getting out there and telling people what to do, maybe. I think I there's know. less pride involved. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of it with like the females, I feel like that, you know, there's, like you kind of said, like Michael said, like for every like one, you know, really good male dog trainer, there's like five, you know, really good female dog trainers. Sure. And a lot of it comes down to just like, I think a lot of the, the patients, you know, they're not really pushing out that there's not so much ego for like alphaness, like with guys and everything. But I mean, I, there's tons and tons and tons of talented, you know, women handlers right. out there, and it's you know, it's, it's amazing to see. You know, definitely need more recognition. But it depends, like over the years. So okay, so like you said, military. When World War II was over, there were a lot of yeah. men suddenly in dog training, and it was a man's field, and it was all you know, very, you know, very kind of brutal, and it was all militaristic, and it was all like, you know, do it now, do that, and then it started to change when education came into it. Like it became about teaching, right? Yeah. Not just yeah. about training. And science, <laughs> then, then, then the doctrine profession became. It also women. depends on what discipline you're in. Yes, you're talking sure. the agility world, that's oh, definitely yeah. highly dominated or even by pet women. Dog training. Yeah, I, I definitely think it depends so on the world nurses, that you're in. Um, I think that 
and this is obviously very stereotyping, but I think that women naturally are better at empathizing, which is really, really important. And communicating. And communicating. Um, so I think that, that women are, are good at that, and that that's the talent that they bring to it that's kind of uh, just now starting to be valued in dog training as we're starting to take into consideration more the dog's emotional state and the dog's uh, perspective. I think that's starting to be a bigger deal when it didn't used to be. It used to be just make the dog do this. The dog must do this. Uh, so anyway, yeah. My mouth is not burning anymore, so. <laughs> I, I guess I think, I don't know that I, in sport world, I don't think that the men, most men in sport world now are <clears throat> nasty to women anymore. I haven't seen that at all. I see that more, as you said, initially. Sure, we in, went in, to in, some other. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, uh, talk to me about my last summer experience. Yeah, where was that at? When? Oh, with my imported decoy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was so not misogynist. Yeah.